Alright, we're, we're back. We did it. We remembered. We remembered that Grunty still exists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get her. Glad the game show music was still playing. Oh, yeah. Very important. So, why didn't she get covered in slime, though? Uh, that'll be at the end. Oh, when okay. we defeat her, we'll dump slime over her. Hell yeah. Well, here it is. Imagine finishing Grunty's Furnace Fun and then realizing you have to go all the way back and get more notes to, to finish the game. <laughs> yeah, or getting it here and not having enough jiggies to... Uh... Yeah, it's like you get enough notes and then you get here and it's like, Oh, damn it, I need more jiggies too. Fuck. Yeah, you need to nearly 100% this game to beat it. So here's this room. It's where uh, she was gonna do the thing with Tootie. Yeah. I appreciate that you can come in here. There's nothing to do in here, but I... I like that it's there. Yeah, a lot of games would normally have a room like this that you just never actually get to go to in game. There's also an extra life I forgot to get, and they're the most important thing in this game. Nice. It's true. They're extremely important. They're the most important. So, here's like bonuses that you can get. They're, uh,. You know, if you got a lot of notes, you can open these doors. They're completely optional. They just refill your stuff. It's a single pickup that refills all of your stuff. Nice. They're very nice. Yeah, especially since, uh, spoilers, we got a boss fight coming up. Uh, what? How dare you spoil the game for me that I've already beat? This is a particularly interesting door, so I'm gonna open this one first. Alright, so this door opens into a hallway, which takes us to the actual final jigsaw puzzle. It only Whoa. takes four, and it doubles our life. Nice. It's very useful. Wait, so there's just two extra jiggies? Yep. That's really annoying. I would be so tilted by that. <laughs> People have asked Rare multiple times, why are there two extra jiggies? And the answer is, I don't know, I guess we just figured we should give you a little bit of leeway. It's such a specific number. <laughs> yeah, they're always like, I don't know, we just did. Exactly two extra. Mm -hmm. In Nuts and Bolts, there's a total of 131 jiggies. Oh my god, it's terrible! Why? In Nuts and Bolts itself, they actually comment like, Why did we pick this stupid number? <laughs> That's so awful. How many years is there total in this game? 100 exactly. Okay, see, yeah, that makes more sense, but it's like, why not just have that final jigsaw piece puzzle uh, take like six? That's like, giving you some leeway. <laughs> so awkward. And actually, it turns out we are the ones who are going to get slimed. Oh. Because this guy's definitely filled with Nickelodeon slime. Why would Kazooie want to peck Grunty's butt? That sounds like the last place I would ever want to peck with my mouth or beak. Hmm. Either of them. Yeah, both of them. Alright, here's the final boss, and it's actually pretty hard, honestly. Yeah, I remember having trouble with it. It's like a huge difficulty... I guess it's not a huge difficulty spike, because the last couple of levels are pretty tough. But, uh, it tests everything you've learned. Yeah. Oh, she died bombs at this point? I thought she died. Man. Case in point. So, yeah. There you go. Fuck this fight. Already. <laughs> I just forgot the order of her phases. I really enjoy how Grunty doesn't care about, like, saying things that are outright insulting to herself as long as, uh, it's to make sure that she rhymes. Oh yeah. She called herself an old cow just now, but it's like, well, I mean, I had to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> the only rhyme she could come up with. <laughs> so this part's pretty easy, but she did Alright. She does change up her pattern. Eventually, yeah. This should be it. 
It it is a shame that they don't have her dive bomb people on the stage in Smash. It would have been neat to have her as a stage hazard. Yeah, that could be fun. I guess uh, it's fair enough that they kept it the way it was, because like what they did end up doing for Spire Mountain is already enough of a stage hazard. Give someone motion sickness. Yeah. All right. So this is a uh, an unavoidable attack. You have to use Wonder Wing or get hit by it. Fucked up. Mm -hmm. This game tests everything you've learned. Yeah. Now she's uh, hey. throwing fire, and we got an Egger. She does stop for a little bit. Got to egg and TP her house. Got to egg and TP herself. Yeah, and her house. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, pickups respawn, which is nice. That is nice. Because you, you got to use them. Yeah, you might run out of those 200 eggs. I mean, if you didn't get the Cheeto, then you'd only have 100. Yeah. Which you still probably wouldn't run out of, but you know. Yeah. I mean, it's just in case you, for some reason, went all the way to the final boss, like, without even the remotest amount of preparation. Like, everything almost gone for no reason. Yeah. So I just let myself get hit to uh, save time. Speedrun strats! Yeah! And the unavoidable one. It might blow up on nice. the wall if you aim it right. And every time you finish a phase, you get a honeycomb, which is nice. nice. Alright, now we've taken to the air, and it's the worst part of the fight because this, the beak bomb is garbage. Yeah. It's pretty trash, yeah. I definitely remember that. Yeah, it's the worst part of this game. Like this. This game controls super well, and this doesn't. Yeah, it's like the only thing that controls, like, complete garbage. I nearly hit the kill box. I would not have blamed you if that happened. God, why does it suck so much? This is the fucking resource I could see someone running out of, like, genuinely, is these feathers, just from, like, missing this shit so much, because it's so dumb. Yeah, it's, uh... It's not great. Also, if you didn't get the uh, Gold Feathers Cheeto, you could pretty easily run out of Gold Feathers. Yeah, that's fair. Especially if you use them for things other than the unavoidable attack, because you, you could use them throughout this fight. They're useful. Yeah. It's just a couple of things you have to use them for. Yeah, the uh, Wonder Wing pickups are... Yeah, like, I think you can you can only hold up to, like, 20 of them, right? So I guess... 10 by default, centering. 20 with Cheeto. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then, yeah. So someone could run out of those completely legitimately, very easily. Mm -hmm. Also, did you notice my uh, strategy of just getting very close to her and it still isn't really working because she's just hitting me with fireballs yeah. in that case? And even sometimes whenever you get really close, you still just miss because it's just that garbage of a move. Yeah, Beak Bomb is not good. Thankfully in uh, Tui, you basically never Beak Bomb. They just super downplayed it because they knew it was bad. Thankfully, they made it less trash in Smash. I don't even know if they actually use that in Smash. Tonight. They don't. About it. <laughs> There's no big. Yeah, because yeah, because their down air is a uh, thing. So I don't think anything else that would be close to it. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they didn't give it give it to them in Smash because they knew the move was garbage. Yeah. She had stayed still for half a second oh longer. My God, it's so bad. <laughs> There you go. And uh, the honeycomb dropped, so she's done with that. I may be old and rather wide. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll do anything for a rhyme. It's true. That was her, like, starting the sentence, though, you know? I feel like she had more control over that one. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Uh... We gotta activate these statues now while she peppers us with fireballs. 
and to activate them, we spit eggs. Jeez, because... I was like expecting a rhyme of like her calling you guys punks, but then like she mentioned turning you guys into chunks. It's like, wow, that's like way more brutal and violent. <laughs> oh yeah. She'll turn us into chunks. Oh shit. You gotta get the smash ball. Oh, they actually went in? I thought I missed completely. <laughs> I was thinking that too, based on that, yeah, like visually that did not look like you shot them in there, but uh, I mean, hey, we take those. Oh yeah. Jinjo! Yes. Yeah, I appreciate that they uh, use the same sound effect and animation for when you rescue them. Yeah. But now they're prepared to kill. Now she tries to lead her shot so much that you can pretty much just turn around as soon as she launches. Like, she tries really hard to lead those shots. Amazing. Oh no. It's here. It's... it's here. Performing for us. Oh. Well, this is, uh... Alright, I finally got it. <laughs> Sometimes those hitboxes can be bullshit, I don't blame you. So many eggs. Well, the Jimmy just really hungry for eggs. I mean... Who among us is not hungry for eggs? I'm not particularly hungry for eggs. No. I've eaten uh, too many of them in recent times. Whenever it's been yeah, like yeah. one of the only things we've had to eat, it's just like. And it's like, I like eggs and all, but it's like one of those foods that I think I've decided is like one of the worst things to have is like uh, your only consistent source of food for a period of time. So it's like one of those foods that like sucks to eat in succession, like over and over. Yeah. Also, it's the Giginator. We did it. Oh, here comes the final smash. Oh, man. This was the perfect final smash. Yeah, it really was. Perfect I... enough that a lot of people predicted it would be the final yeah, smash. Yeah, exactly. Pretty much like everyone was saying it would be. Like, of course it would be. <laughs> final smash is Banjo getting into a car. I was like just about to say that. It's like Final Smash is just like a that's one. Yeah, it just gets into a randomized vehicle. It's just Captain Falcon's Final Smash. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Turns into Fat Banjo just for that Final Smash and then turns back to normal. Oh, fun fact about this. That one more spell that just misses you impotently. Originally, it was going to hit, and you would turn into a frog, and then you would have to go back through all of the worlds as 2D to collect something to cure Banjo. Oh my god. But for time reasons, they couldn't implement an entire, like, New Game Plus, basically. <laughs> that would be incredible, though. I would have been okay <laughs> with that. I was so excited to learn that, because I always wondered why she casts one more spell that just misses. It's for a dramatic effect. I also appreciate that Grunty is so resilient that she survives dropping like 20 stories or more and then having a boulder land on her. She's just stuck. On top of all the damage before that. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, on top of being pecked by the Chinchinator. And like hit with a lot of eggs and also Banjo slamming into her. Mm -hmm. Kazooie pecking her a lot. I still love that fucking just random human girl with, with melons. It's, yeah. It gets me every time. <laughs> yeah, she's really out of place in this entire series, huh? <laughs> yeah, she's just kind of there. It's like, yeah, there are humans in this world. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, yeah. It never occurred to me how bizarre she is. <laughs> Oh my god. She doesn't say anything, at least she doesn't show up to deliver a line. She's just like there for the joke with the melons, and that's it. Yep, that's her whole purpose, is just to make a melon joke. 
Oh my god. So good. <laughs> Thanks, goggles. You're yeah. not so dumb after all. Hey, guess what? It's time for another extremely slow thing. <laughs> yeah, but this time it's because we're actually at the end. Yeah. Now we get to know everyone's names, which would have been useful before Furnace Fun. Yeah. Maybe that's why they waited. Mm hmm. Then again, the other ones also show up after Furnace Fun is already over, so. You know. I it's do appreciate that the though. actual credits play first, and then just a cast list is the second one, instead of the credits being the second one. It's just funny, since like the other one is also a cast list, just like a different one. Mm-hmm. This is the cast list of enemies and minor characters. Big butt. <laughs> well, I actually didn't remember that that was his name. Like, genuinely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Because he, uh, he headbutts you, and he's big. He gives you big butts. <laughs> lock up the Mimic, and little lock up the little Mimic. Yeah. But yeah, this, watching this cast list a lot of times is why I remember most of the enemy names in this game. That's fair. I don't blame you. God, that's... What kind of existence is that, being a... A sea mine, yeah. And shrapnel. Your entire purpose and name is geared towards. Yeah, you, you're meant to explode and like, like launch shrapnel at people when you die. Mm -hmm. That is your purpose in life. Yep. When you fulfilled your purpose, you will explode into a million pieces. Yeah. Like the bombs. The bombs also lead to really fucked up existence. Mm hmm. I like that the flibbits don't blink, like, synchronized. They have asynchronous <laughs> blinking. Yeah, that's uh, really oh, weird. Oh, it's the buzz oh, bomb. Oh, it's the buzz bomb. Psychotic. Oh, it's buzz bomb from Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> if I ever have kids, I'm going to name one of them Soggy. Really, really cool of Nintendo to let, uh... To let Rare put the buzz bomb from Smash into uh, their game. Mm -hmm. Twinkly Muncher. Why does this being exist to eat the uh, those Christmas lights? By the way, that's uh, that's I'm, also weird, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's real uh, creatures <laughs> that are named after like their prey, but like. I don't think you get what I was asking. Why, why does it eat? <laughs> why does it eat those? Oh yeah, why does it eat Christmas lights? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's like what? That's so odd. Yeah, alright, that's fair. Yeah. That is kind of weird. It's like yeah, that is its main. Uh, like the fact that it's named after them just makes it weirder. It's not like a like a strange dog or something that just likes eating Christmas lights. But it's like no, it's like named after those, implying that it's like. That's like its primary source of uh, nourishment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, what? Also, I like that, that it was like Tumblr, and it's like that, that was just a jar. It was, it was just, like it wasn't even a jar with googly eyes. It was, it was just a jar with a mm -hmm. name. <laughs> <laughs> it talks to you when you meet it. That's weird. What kind of, what kind of object talks if it doesn't have googly eyes? You can't do that. That's true. Oh my god, another creature that exists to explode. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. And a bigger one that also exists to die. We all exist to die. Yeah, you know, it's not even just this game. You know, like, the bombs are another example. And it happens in a lot of games. Like, what? Like, imagine how screwed up it is, like, thinking about it. To intentionally create uh, a being whose purpose is to explode to like suicide bomb and die instead of just like having an enemy that does basically the same thing and like throws bombs at you or something or, or drops them. It's like no, I want to have the enemy be the bomb. I want to have the enemy be the thing that explodes. Like that's fucked up, dude. <laughs> or just like a, a non sentient bomb. Yeah, exactly. Just like that's what I mean. Like it, just like any sort of enemy that uses like normal bombs or something. Like or I don't just know. There's bombs like... that exist. Yeah, they just, just having bombs. like proximity mines.
Yeah, like mines. There's like so many ways to do that. It's like, nah, look at all these video games. Like, they made the conscious effort. It's like, nah, we need to have our bombs be alive. We need our bombs to be able to think and feel. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Also, we got our 100% uh, secret ending. Oh shit, it's Banjo's invite to Smash. Yeah, but it's also got nothing special for us. It's it's not gonna reveal anything new. Pictures of things I missed, which I actually didn't miss. It doesn't yeah. check if you actually did stop and swap since the original game it was a Debbie Now feature anyway. Yeah. Great. Skirt boy. He's not even wearing a skirt right now, is he? Yeah, he's got like a grass skirt. skirt. Oh there we go. It it looked yeah, it looked off on that angle. Now it's more obvious. I wasn't sure that he was wearing one then. But... Also, uh, <laughs> they kind of changed this dialogue a little bit. <laughs> yeah, for nuts and bolts. I'm like, sounds great. Is it any good? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is actually. <laughs> yeah, it's just really funny. It's like, oh, oh man, <laughs> the can of worms you're opening right now for people. Also, Kazooie saying I'd better be in it too worked a lot better when the title was Banjo Tooie instead of Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, since they re implemented Stop and Swap in this, it was originally could only interact with Nuts and Bolts since they hadn't ported Dewey to Xbox yet, so they did this nonsense. Yeah. Where they very slightly changed the dialogue. Also, this isn't a video, it's like the game playing itself, and it, it does not sync up correctly. Fantastic. Once in a while on the Nintendo 64 it would desync, on the Xbox it like never does it correctly. Great. <laughs> Just watch. Yeah, there it goes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Like, once in a while, he'll fall on the Nintendo 64 on the Xbox. I don't think I've ever seen him get to the top. Fantastic. To show how modern gamers are, are trash and they should go back to the good old days when games were actually hard so gamers were challenged. <laughs> Oh shit, it's the key. It's the legendary key. It's that. Now you can see a nice ice key which you can have for free. Yeah. <laughs> Kazooie, no. You can't just say that. Thanks, Mumbo. Mumbo, stop shaking the picture. <laughs> if you want us to watch it properly, you gotta hold it still. <laughs> Set it down somewhere. He's Why had you gotta so hold many it coffees. Up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why his hand was shaking the whole time. Because the other one, he was tossing a coconut up and down. Dude, just just stop messing with the coconut. He's gotta be doing something with his hands at all times. <laughs> Yeah, we have already collected all of the eggs and the key, but we'll find out what they're for in Banjo Tui and also Nuts and Bolts. Yeah. Klungo must move the rocks so K rule can get free. Mm -hmm. I really love that. That was like the best thing in that trailer. Actually, there was a lot of best things in that Smash trailer. But. Also, I like that it says game over instead of the end. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the game it's is over. Still a, yeah, it's technically yeah. still a correct statement, I guess. <laughs> the game is over, but you typically say game over when it's like, when you fucked up. Yeah. You fucked up. You killed, you killed a woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> also, come to think of it, I guess Buzz Bobber is the first character you see upon booting Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> Yeah, iconic. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, this has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. And that concludes part one of the Banjo Trilogy. Tune in next time when we play the sequel to Banjo-Kazooie.